Hello guys! So today I really wanted to share with you my artistic process when it came to my digital art, my little doodles. Um, this is the first one that you are seeing, but not the first one I have created because I am self-proclaimed, very, very insecure and self-critical of myself as an artist in the artistic world. and. I really wanted to break away from that and get a little brave and show you guys how rough everything really starts out and how imperfect everything is. So here's the rough draft that you will not be seeing in the final picture, but it's just, you know, essentially what a rough draft is. It's supposed to be rough. It's supposed to be messy and loose and not heavily worked on because it's just there. It only exists for the sole purpose of trying to figure out to to manifest the general idea that's going on in my head. And I picked a cartoonized ice cream cone because it really it has all of the room for forgiveness. Cartoons virtually have no rules in terms of realism and precision and you know the I mean it's just easier to work with and I think that's really important for me as an artist is that I mean my general philosophy in almost every aspect of my life is to just follow the flow just to to make a mess and roll with it just ride just ride the mess and that's <laughs> pretty much what I'm doing down there too with the little the swirly bits of color down down in the down in the fancy schmancy glass that I have constructed for myself um as of late, I have been absolutely enamored with the aesthetic of pastels. They're so bright and optimistic and whimsical, very, very cheery and magical. And I associate all of the good things with pastel colors. They're just soft and frosty. And what better way to represent these beautiful colors that I am so delighted with than with a a frosty little ice cream cone that melts down the sides. You know what? Now that I, in retrospect, now that I'm watching myself draw this in hyperspeed, perhaps I picked a messy ice cream cone also to <laughs> just, you know, emphasize on the symbolism of riding the mess and riding the flow of art in general. It, I think this was the perfect picture to <laughs> to break, to pop my virtual video drawing cherry with. It's such a pun, such a, I'm horrible, I'm a horrible human. But right now what I'm doing, um, normally when I, when it comes to drawing in general, uh, to make things really explode and pop, I wanted, I focus a lot on shadows. And here I tried to be averted heavily from shadows because ice cream you can't you can't really throw a bunch of black in the mix and still make it look tasty so I'm just I'm just compensating with a lot of wet whites to highlight and just add the add that extra pop of you know it there there are things <laughs> there are things on this picture <laughs> other than just a mess and also I really give major props to Photoshop brushes because the only way I know how to really color is through scribbling, which is exactly what I'm doing here. However, with the grace of the, the interchangeable brush sets here, I can go switch over to airbrush and it makes everything look silky smooth and shaft, shaft, shaft and shiny and delightful. And because it's a cartoon, I wanted instead of shadows just to outline it heavily with a black. It's not heavily. It's just a heavy color, but it's very thin. You, you'll you'll see what I mean later on. What I also noticed in observation of this is as I was watching myself draw after the fact, uh, it looks like I had a plan this entire time, and I wanna I wanna just tell you guys set it straight right here right now that was totally not the case 
I began this not knowing what the hell was going to happen, <laughs> not knowing what I was doing with my life. But, you know, you just roll with the punches, and that's kind of symbolic of the rest of life as well. You start where you start, and then you carry on from there. Well, <sighs> this was my ice cream cone. If you want at all to know how to make anything, if you want to learn how to draw something else, please ask me. And I would be more than happy to accommodate that request. Um, I hope you have a gorgeous day. Please and thank you for watching.